Shalom um, Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who are well, who have taught us His truth through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Hashai. And honor the citation to the elect that I can do these words of sincerity and the truth. So, uh, pretty much, I'm entitled to this, Behold the Day. Okay? Because everything we prophesy about through the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Hashai, you know, through the scriptures, we're going to see the day. Okay? We're going to see that day. And this is just an example of how we're going to see that day. Which should be a faith booster unto us. So this is 1 Samuel 24 and 4. I started uh, verse, uh, verse uh, 1. And it came to pass when Saul was returned from following the Philistines. That it was told him saying behold. David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. And then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel. She going to show you that he wasn't messing around. These were chosen picked men to handle business. All right. He wanted King David dead. He was not playing around. Right. Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats. And he came to the sheep coats, by the way, where there was a cave. And Saul went in to cover his feet. And David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. Verse 4. And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto thee. Then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privately. See? So that's the point. You know, verse 4 again, it says, And the men of David said unto him, Behold, the day of which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thy hand. See, so King David's men said, Look. This is the day that the Lord spoke of, man. You know, that's beautiful, man. The Lord told King David that he was going to deliver his enemy into his hand to do whatever he wanted to do. And boom, that was the day. That it was to be fulfilled, man. Okay. So going to show you that. This is all the most High's movie. We got the script. And now we're just playing it out. Alright. So if I may read it one more time. And the men of David said unto him. Behold the day of which the Lord said unto thee. Behold. Meaning what? This is the day. Alright. This is the day that is going to be fulfilled. That, that is to be fulfilled. Of when the Lord told you. That what? Behold I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand. That thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto thee. Then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privately. You see that? So, guess what? There's many other days. There's many other things that the Lord uh, pretty much used us to prophesy through his word that are to come. And guess what? We're going to say the same thing in the spirit. Right? When 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 we begin to live it out. So let me just get one example. But remember, there's many examples. This is Job uh, 5. And I'll start at verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Okay? Getting into them thermonuclear missiles. All right. Ultimately, because that's not going to touch us, it says in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. See, so 
the day of famine will come. And when it comes, right, we're going to be saved from that. And then we're going to look and realize and say, hey, behold, this is the day. This is the day of Joel 5 and 20, man. <laughs> you know, King David went through it. We we about to go through it, man. This is verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Yeah, man, because they're getting ready to shape to, to what? Demonize us. You know, they're going to get ready to come start looking for it. All right. Have you seen this man? You know, there's a local uh, domestic terrorist in your neighborhood. Have you seen this guy? This and that. But we're going to be hit from all that. OK. And then we're going to realize what? Hey, this day it was the scriptures are being fulfilled, man. You know, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So the scripture said this that 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 this is how it's gonna be. Now we're just waiting to live it out. It says neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Damn. Notice it said when it comes. Before it comes, we might be damn man. Oh the Lord, look out, oh the Lord protect us, oh the Lord help us, man. That's crazy. I mean, the brother was just talking about th about this. That's the spirit. You know? Damn, man. I hope the Lord help us and protect us for real, man. You know? And you might get uh, not cold feet to say, hey, like the brother said, worried. You may get a little worried about it. But guess what? When it comes, we ain't going to be afraid. We're gonna Why? Because we're going to receive a different spirit. The same spirit of when the day will be fulfilled of how the Lord said, seven women shall cleave unto one man. Okay. The reason why seven women are going to cleave unto one man, which really goes into one man of the Lord, is because they ain't going to have the same spirit everybody else has. They ain't going to have the spirit of panic, fear, you know, so forth and so on. We're going to have a different spirit. So notice how it says, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh, when it comes. So leading up to it, you may, we may be a little worried. We may be like, dang, I hope the Lord, you know, protect us and the damn, it's going to be crazy. And, but when it actually comes, hey, we're going to perform through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem And we're going to realize, hey, this is the day that is being fulfilled, man. You know, so really the point is, uh. To uh, have faith, man. You know, the Lord said these different days were going to come. And we're going to fulfill it, man. We're going to realize this is the day that the Lord spoke of. The same example with King David. The Lord told King David he was going to deliver his, his enemy into his hand. So that you can do whatever you want to do to him. And the men of the Lord that was with David said, behold, this is that day. Right? So the things that the Lord say will come to pass will come to pass. So that's how we so, you know, we got to let it sink in. To our minds even furthermore to know this stuff will come to pass. It says at destruction of famine, thou shalt laugh. Right, because now when it actually gets here, yeah, we're going to be worried about it. We're in this carnal flesh, we're in the chains of darkness. Yeah, we may get a little worried in this and that, but when it actually comes, we receive like a new spirit. Well, the scriptures say, well, let me get that real quick. All these scriptures will come to pass and we will realize, behold, this is the day. That such and such came to pass, that such and such came to pass. So this is Revelation 3 and 10, because I has kept the words of Yahweh Shai at that, because I has kept the words you know, most I am man that he should lie. And Yahweh Shai said, I and my father are one. So Yahweh Shai ain't a man that he should lie. And this is the exact words of Yahweh Shai. So, you know, you know he ain't lying. Revelation 3 and 10 it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Now, this is something that we can say we did. 
This is something that we can say we did. We kept the word of his patience, man. We didn't go back into destruction. We didn't go back into the world. We didn't fall out. You know, we didn't uh, stop doing the works. Now, I mean, there may be a point in time where you did, you know, the, what they call the prodigal son. But you're going to be, how should I say, blessed day that the, the Lord shall find doing so. Okay. Comment, what they say, uh, bless you, the Lord shall find doing so. So, the Lord's going to return, so to speak, and find you that you're still doing the works and you're going to be good. All right? So, it says, uh, because, hey, yes, and there might be another lesson right there. It says, be, so, because I was kept the word of my patience, which is something we've been doing in season and out of season, you know, give a true diligence to make a call in the election, sure. We can say that we're fulfilling this, man. But we got to do it to what the end, like the scriptures say. The same shall be, they that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. It says, I, now, guess what? Now, Yahweh Shah is going to kick in. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. How is that? Because we're going to be given a new spirit, man. You know, so to speak. We're going to be given the spirit to deal with that. All right? We're going to be given protection, man. It says, we shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. See? Which is why it will be understandable with Job 5.22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. How? Because we're going to be given that spirit from Yahweh Shai to, to be able to do that, man. Because we've kept the, the Lord's patience. It says, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. All right. So, you know, we're going to realize, dang, this is the day that this is being fulfilled. We're going to praise the living hell out of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So, little ones are fine. Let the realness sink in, man. All right. Shalom.